welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. My father, Gary. Hello. And my husband, Jared. Hello. Today, we're going to be chit-chatting to you about the most recent Weekly Peak that aired on Friday. But before we get into that, a quick cheeky word from our sponsor, cheeky. the My Little Homestead t-shirt shop. If you'd like to get a handbag, sweatshirt, apron, all kinds of wonderful stuff. I know we're coming into gift season, so there's all kinds of wonderful designs over there on our shop. Uh, the link will be down there in the description. So this week, we uh, went around to Death Valley, which yes. was super exciting. I, you know what, before we get into that though, uh, you had something you wanted to add about uh, the cabin. Because um, I know we mentioned that we left the cabin, you know, to, to head over to... Yeah, we had popped up a tent because you guys had your trailer trailer, and Gary and Ellie had theirs. And so we popped up a tent and some of us were going to sleep in there, including Gary and I. Yep. And we decided um, that now let's go ahead and I think it was Garen's idea to sleep in the... To actually sleep in the cabin. So we kind of cleared out space there and uh, several of us slept in the cabin. And it was, uh, it was interesting as it was getting down into the 30s at night. But it was, it, it kept the temperature in there so warm. It, mm-hmm. And we were really glad to not be in the tents. When we woke up in the morning, because we'd walk outside and go, <gasps> it's so cold. cold. But in the cabin, even though, you know, yeah. it's, well, I mean, the walls are up. But it's, it was really quite warm in there. So that was kind of fun. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Awesome. Bryce was mentioning that you guys got a little bit of condensation rain a few yes. nights. Yeah, after we started uh, stuccoing, because it was, we All closed the moisture down. from the stucco was then begin condensating, condensating, <laughs> condensating, condensating Con- con- conditioning, con- going to the ceiling uh, based on our heat and moisture and stuff from us. So yeah, it was, we drop right in our heads. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, do we have a, there's no rain. Where's there's been raining. Where's this coming from? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that was kind of fun. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. So this week we uh, we went to Death Valley with Grandma, yes. which was really super fun to go around there and do that with her. Uh, we had a comment here from uh, Kelly Ann Dyer, and she says, "OMG, Grandma is so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Whose mom is she?" And uh, she's my mom's mom, so she's, she's my, my grandma. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> so I know there was like, "Who's Grandma?" You know, cause <laughs> Grandma's got the black hair like Jared. You know. And, uh, right. You know, I think there was like, wait a yeah. minute, you know. So, uh, yeah, if you aren't familiar already, because I know she's been in the videos before, uh, she is my mom's mom. So, yeah, very cool. <laughs> uh, so we had this little scene in the video where Chip got into the cup holders in the back. Like he had a he had a paw in each cup holder, which was kind of fun. <laughs> back paws. Yeah, a little back paws in there. Betty uh, Watson says, I see Chip found the pup holders in Grandma's van. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually the chip holders. They're the chip holders. There yeah. you go. Chip holders. <laughs> yes. We, tra- we attempted to get him to sit down while he was while he had his paws in there, but he no, wasn't having he it. He wasn't having it. Those were those were standing holes only. <laughs> Uh, so now uh, the first place that we went to in the video was uh, the Devil's Hole, which was really interesting. Grandma's like, I really want you to see the Devil's Hole, and I'm thinking, I, you know, a name like that, you're like, okay, Grandma, you know, it's a good Halloween. No. It's thing. a good Halloween yeah. thing, but it's like, okay, Grandma. But you know, it really had a lot of super interesting things that happened in there, especially yeah. considering I think the most mind blowing thing was. Um, the whole thing where if there's an earthquake anywhere in the world, it starts sloshing. That's amazing for something like that. It's oh. very deep. Oh, yeah. I, un, un, untold depth, yeah. you know, yet. So it's got to be connected to something that connects to everything. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Well, I love the shots, Jared, that you got, the drone shots. It, it was just really, you could really see it. And the color in there was just stunning. Very, yeah. very beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. Um, now we had one scene because we were looking up, we we're trying to find the sloshing online, and um, the park has both the sloshing, but they also had a little video that they put out on just letting us know about, you know, what's in the hole. You know, yeah. A little in- informational video as well. We linked it in the description. Um, and there was one where they actually dived in and showed, and we had we showed this clip of them diving into the water and showing the hole. And uh, Jessica Hankins says, one of the divers in your clip of the Devil's Hole is a friend of mine. It oh takes gosh. special certification and training dives for this place. Uh, he oh. has amazing stories. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be fun to talk to him? Yeah. Cool wouldn't it, though? That? that would be so neat. Yeah, it, it would be. Uh, I remember watching old documentaries about cave divers and like cave diving is like exceptionally dangerous sort of a thing because because you got to watch out like if like a rock cuts your oxygen tube you're kind of <gasps> Ooh, yeah i didn't think about that yeah <laughs> <laughs> Oof, oh, it's, that would be so it's 
when she says special just, training, she means exceptional mm-hmm. special training and probably disorienting too. Mm-hmm. You know, making sure you know your path and where you've been and where you're going. Yep, it's important. That's amazing. Um, and then I think the third place or the second place we went to was the Crystal Springs, and that was with the water that was so beautiful. Yeah. And uh, I know everybody was worried about Little Chip, and honestly, it's fall here, yeah. so it wasn't very hot to begin with. And no, every time we got 80. back, to, yeah. And every time we got back to the car, he got a little drink of water. Well, let's be honest; he needs a little exercise. Yeah. In he's his a life. chunk. He's, uh, I don't know if you guys, when you left, and when I see him now, he's he's, he's put on fit. a few pounds. Oh, really? Has he? <laughs> oh my gosh! Well, he's in that little RV now. So. Um, but then also, too, we're only out for you know maybe 20 minutes tops each time we go to mm-hmm. some. He was we, he was well taken care of, believe me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, now uh, the last place that we went to was uh, the cabin, which is what we were super excited to see. And one of the things, dang it, we didn't put in the video was the little refrigerator in the in the back of uh, Longstreet's cabin was actually uh, cold enough to hold perishables in in that little space so like it was very cold in there like 40 degrees that's what wow. you need right yeah but it's just enough for creamer for your coffee i yeah. really he could have had a little creamer for his coffee there <laughs> that's all that matters yeah. Yeah. yeah so that was really neat um mm-hmm. and and then we went out to the to the roof on top they had all those the the type of gravel. sand and stuff gravel that was out there turns into rock over time and so that's what they'd put on the roof. So it actually, I know it looks crumbly, but it was solid rock. All of it was solidified. It was pretty amazing. Uh, Catherine Blodgett says, white rocks on roofs, my childhood. Yeah, seriously, in Las Vegas, just a few hours from Ash Meadows in the 60s, white rocks were put on roofs as a reflective measure to keep the houses cooler. Hmm. Can't tell you for sure if it was really successful, but all the houses in the older parts of town had rock. You can tell the older neighborhoods because some still have them. As roof aged, they replaced the rock with tiles. But the house I grew up in, 65 to 82, still is rocked. Oh. That's fun. That's fun. That's super neat. I can see how it could be reflective, the mm-hmm. white. Oh, like yeah. that. I'm sure it was. Yeah, so. Insulative, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they had, like, a picture of it, of the cabin, and then they actually restored it. But Yeah, I it was mean, like, it was, uh, like, it had gotten destroyed in, like, a flash flood, I think. Oh, was it that? Okay, mm-hmm. I was Yeah, it was that. something like that. I don't really remember where that information came from. I think it was just one of the online articles we looked up. Uh, a flash flood had knocked it down, and I think the guys in the 1927... That, that plaque were the ones that put it back together. Yeah, it was amazing. Cool. It just like a little family and their dog. So, which was kind of fun. But that was really neat to have a little refrigerator. And you kind of like, I remember like, it wasn't, didn't Laura Ingalls, didn't they do ice and then they would store the ice under sawdust? Or was that? Yeah. yeah. Was it Laura Ingalls or was that? So, um, yeah. Her husband, I can't remember. I don't even remember. remember. I, but I just remember that. And I remember we tried it when we were up at the cabin as little kids. It had snowed and we wanted to keep the snow. So we yeah? put the snow, we put um, a bunch of <laughs> brush did. over the top of the snow and saved it for days and days and did days. Did it work? Yeah. <laughs> we were great. so proud of ourselves. We learned that from Laura Ingalls. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things that was super neat about the area, because, you know, I don't know, whenever I think Death Valley, I think of barren, cool rocks, mm-hmm. you know, very hot. Uh, I don't think of growth. I certainly don't think of water. And one of the things that was just there in abundance was grapes. Yeah, there was a lot. Oh, grapes there too. Yeah, yeah. so many of them. Oh, yeah. wow. Like, I feel like grapes. The are little like, tiny ones, like the, from the last I think time. So, yeah, but, oh. but they were small, and then they were pretty big actually. Oh. Yeah. I mean, they weren't like commercial size grapes, but they were like, I mean, they were like. They were bigger than the bigger ones than, that Bryson yeah, came across. Bigger than yeah. Those. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like grapes are like, well, aren't grapes one of the most common desert fruit? To get. I, I don't know. I'm I feel like they know. are because, like, I went on a on a trip a while back and we visited this guy's grave uh, grape orchard, and it was in the middle of the desert, like, no real natural spring, so he had to have irrigation systems and everything like that. But he was growing a lot of them. Wow. So. Wow. They certainly are thriving. I mean, like, they were consuming whole trees. We had that one shot of, like, that was all grapes. Really? That was up in there. Um, Gomez Adam says, thank you. I may never get there in person. Beautiful. Did the grapes produce fruit? I know there is a grape that is more like ivy. It takes over, but no fruit. Grr. So, uh, was there fruit? And yes, Gomez, thank you as well. But yes, yes, there was fruit, like we said sure. there. Yeah, so it, I wanted to try some, but I wasn't gutsy enough. So. <laughs> Tina uh, Whitcomb says, thank you for the very interesting video. We enjoyed it. Just curious, was what was the little case Jared was carrying around? Oh, that was our drone. Yes. 
case. That was a little drone oh. case. The drone oh, case, yeah. The little gray case. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So he's, he's like, did, he did really good. I learned he like learned in this video shot how to do like the little pans where he's like turning around. And I was oh, like, oh my gosh, we had so nice. many of those. So cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. So cool. Yeah. yeah. Really fun to see that. To watch yeah. that. It was hard to edit the video because there were so many neat shots, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, man, it, it's it's droning on. <laughs> 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 but it's, but man, they're fun. We'd love to have those in there. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we cut enough because we were like, oh, it was hard. <laughs> yeah. Now, Grandma went with you guys too, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grandma did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I was going to say something. Uh, you were talking earlier about going to Death Valley and, and just the, the terminology of our you know how it but it's a good time because it's Halloween and I have to say my mom who's really sweet and you wouldn't think it but during Halloween she has the scariest <laughs> the scariest things up in her house no, the one the in bathroom. the shower is so ah, scary ah, <laughs> she's, has, she's got this like yeah, human. It's human size. Like it's, yeah, it's like it a is. skeleton that's like this. And uh, Jared, she was like, she was like, oh, Bree, we, do you mind? Can we scare him? So she put it up in the shower. And at first, it was she's got two bathrooms, and, and we put it up in one of them. And I ended up taking that bathroom. You took the other one. And he, she's like, oh, dang it! I thought he would. I was hoping that he'd take that bathroom. And I was like, oh man, oh, I forgot we put it in there. So we actually, I would have scared myself. <laughs> and then, um, anyway, so then we got it. Finally, got it in your bathroom. Yes. And. Uh, did anyway. it scare you or did it scare you? <laughs> Not really. It was well, a little like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's about the extent of it though. Yeah, and then when I got there, she's like, Shelly, you gotta come see. I have I have some soap for you in the shower. I wanna show you show you the new soap. And I thought, what? And then pretty soon I thought, no, she's trying to scare me. I know her too well. <laughs> <laughs> so that shower curtain. But I'm like, that there. curtain is outrageous. I'm like, what? I've used oh, the curtain. It has it has a shadow of a person kind of like this, you know, and but it's a shadow. You can't see any features of the yeah. fingers probably. But behind that, in front, actually in front of that on the on the drawing, is blood <laughs> dripping. Like, with, it says help. help. Yeah. We're dripping, help. written in help. blood. And, like, I'm just glad she gosh. didn't have that when I was young because I would have had oh, nightmares no. for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> can't bring the grandkids over to grandma's. No, scared. we can't go. It's Halloween time. It's <laughs> Halloween. Anyway, <laughs> I know it. She's, she's a party person. She party. likes to do the parties. And, 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 she and gets, the, the fact that she gets decoration. such a big kick out of it, it makes it fun, you know, because she's all into it. So anyway, yeah. very fun. This is festive here at the house, which yes. is fun. Well, since we're on the, <laughs> the topic of Halloween, um, the Devil's Hole, we had um, we found a little clip of spooky spooky ge spooky geology or yeah, something like that. Yeah, And apparently, like, um, what is his name? Something Manson. Charles Manson. Charles Manson stared at the hole, Devil's Hole, for like three days because he thought it was going to open up and provide some safety and refuge for his cult. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but we and we were like, oh, that's kind of interesting history. But then as we were going through and finding videos of him, we just, were like, just clips of <laughs> yeah. him. It was just like, <laughs> looks like he came out of the hole. I think he, <laughs> he came, came out, out of the, the hole. hole. <laughs> I think that's right. Yep. We we're like, I don't want the, such an unsettling thing in the video. We can't do so where's that. Charles yeah. Manson from? The hole. The whole hole. <laughs> came right out of it. <laughs> it's so creepy. I was like, I can't do it. Yeah. I, just, I could it do was, it. It was, it was a little bit too much. It was too much for me. I was like, this guy, no. We're yeah, yeah. There was a couple of people who had mentioned it in the comments. Been yeah. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Absolutely right. We and did. it was considered, but we didn't want to scare you, <laughs> even though it is Halloween. Even though we just did. Yeah. Even yeah. though we just did, and we scared ourselves by thinking about it. So. <laughs> there was a clip though that was in there that people didn't comment on. <gasps> oh yes. You're gonna have to go back and look at the video again. <gasps> oh yes. There was a scene. You know, should I describe yeah, it? Yeah. There was a scene of two cowboys sort of one cowboy one cowgirl that were at a kind of a gunfight thing and uh that was brie and i uh <laughs> for a summer mm -hmm. what'd we do we were a uh, comedy gunfighters for a little skit that had three uh like three sh three parts to the show yeah and we did it for like six months or something we did it for six months? months or so it was so fun well, it was, was so fun to do together yeah. it was part of the it was off shooting yeah. and off shooting and pride falls you took quite a few props. I died at the end of every act. Yeah, every <laughs> act. At least once or twice actually during a show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we oh, got three to, times a show. Yeah. yeah. And we part. got to fire weapons and, and fall and do prats and it was and the jokes galore. It was all kicked <laughs> in the pants. You were fifteen <laughs> years old too, remember? Oh that? I was. You were was just, I remember we had done this show and at the first the first act I go up into this balcony and I shoot I shoot my toe off 
you know, in the show. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so um, I think, Dad, you ended up, you were Waco and I was Percy. And you yeah. would shoot me at the end of every act. That was the joke. Because yeah. I was so annoying, right? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> and was, so the over. first act, we had like a, an audience. And there was kids in the audience, which is kind of a hit and miss. They don't like the loud noises. But this was, you know, fine. Mm-hmm. And um, and I pretended you shot me in the show. And then I came down for the second act. And, and there was this little kid. She was crying because she thought you actually did it. Oh. oh. <laughs> and yeah. I stopped. I like stopped. Yeah, I was like, no, sweetie, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. It's just a show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. it was a lot of Remember fun. Me. I mean, that was we, so fun. We did that for a while, and and uh, and, and and then stopped. You know, so yeah. Go back and do some other things, but I just during that was a fun time. Yeah, that was that a time. super fun time. That was, awesome. <laughs> yeah. it was part of the homeschooling. Yeah, yeah. it was to part do of that your homeschooling too. education. So and it was ever, Jared's idea to yeah. put that yeah. that clip in. He idea. thought, hey, this kind of fits yeah. in here. Yeah, so we, we actually put it in there as a bit of an Easter egg to see if anyone <laughs> noticed. So Nobody did. did. <laughs> Not that I know of. That was a blast. Yeah, it was. Well, we really appreciate you hanging out with us and taking some time to comment and uh, engage with the content. We really appreciate that. Uh, we want to give a special thank you to our Patreon supporters who support us financially. If uh, that interests you at all, a buck or two a month, all that super helps. Uh, so links to that will be down in the description. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to hanging out with you on Wednesday for some more My Little Homestead Shenanigans. Yes. Yeah, Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.